Looking to beef up your photos or videos with better lighting? Check out these two ring lights from LumCube. A small portable one and a big cordless one. Hi, this is David of tech for baba Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing if you like useful tech for the family like me. In today's video, let's check out these two ring lights from LumCube. The smaller ring light mini and a bigger ring light pro. I'll also share what each one is best for and why at the end. Let's look at the smaller ring light mini first. It's round with a hole in the middle like all ring lights. The light is 12 inches in diameter and almost 13 inches with the outer frame. Very thin, just 0.5 inch and weights only 21.6 ounces. There are 120 inward facing LEDs with built-in diffusion to even out and soften the light. LumCube calls this their edge lid technology. More on the light later. The ring light mini came in this flat black box with a nice picture of it printed on top. Opening the box, there is a manual, the ring light mini, under the foam, an extension rod with a tripod, an USB-C power adapter, and a charging cable. A couple of cable clips, very thoughtful. And a desktop C-clamp. The light has a black plastic casing with little venting slots all around. On the bottom, there is a quarter inch screw for the smartphone mount. Technically, a small camera can also be mounted here, but since the ring light mini is compact and light, it's better suited for just a smartphone. With this upper knob, the light can be tilted forward and back 180 degrees. This lower knob allows the light to rotate all around 360 degrees. The metal rod has three sections with these two screw locks and can extend from 16 to 40 inches. It's compact and can be mounted on a desk with this included C-clamp or stand on any flat surface with this metal folding tripod. On the lower right of the light, there is an USB-C port for power. This is very convenient. Even the latest iPhone 15 has USB-C ports now. On the left side, there is an on-off switch. In the middle, there is a small but clear screen displaying the brightness and color temperature. The brightness can be adjusted with this upper toggle switch from 0% to 100% in 1% intervals. The color temperature can be adjusted with this lower toggle switch from 2700 to 7500 Kelvin in 100 Kelvin intervals. These small intervals allow the mood to be set and dialed in precisely. There are only two improvements I wish for the Ring Light Mini. First is a built-in battery. The Ring Light Mini is so compact and simple to set up anywhere. It'd be great to not have to worry about a plug or power source nearby. With USB-C, a power bank can be used, so this is not a huge issue. Second, I wish it comes with a carrying case. Since the Ring Light Mini is so portable, it'd be great if it comes with a carrying case to pack and take the light everywhere. Well, guess what? The larger Ring Light Pro has both of these covered and many more. Let's take a closer look at the Ring Light Pro. It's a bigger, more powerful version of the Ring Light Mini. It has the same smooth edge lid technology with 256 LEDs inside a bigger body. The Ring Light is almost 17 inches in diameter, 17.5 inches with the outer frame. It came in this big flat white box with the light printed on top. Inside the box, yep, that's right, a nice black carrying case. Yay! Inside the carrying case, there is a remote, the Ring Light Pro, of course, a light stand, more solid yet compact, good. Let's see. A quick instruction card, 
a little card that says, nothing would brighten our day more than hearing about your experience. A good company who wants to hear from customers. A camera mount. And lastly, the power supply. The Ringlight Pro also has a black plastic housing with venting slots in the back. There's a quarter inch screw on the bottom for the included smartphone mount. Since it's bigger, it has room for two additional cold shoe mounts next to the screw. Similar to the Ringlight Mini, it has two knobs. One for tilting the light back and forth 180 degrees. And the other allowing a 360 degree rotation. The Ring Light Pro stand is much more robust and stable than the one for the Ring Light Mini. It can extend from 18 inches all the way to 70 inches with these four clip locks. The stand and legs fold into a small package, which is great. On the left side of the light, there's the power switch. Yup, the Ring Light Pro has a built in battery so it can run without a power supply. The battery can last about 70 minutes at full brightness. There are even these two USB-A ports to charge other devices with the internal battery. The power port is also on this side. The Ring Light Pro has a much bigger LCD screen that displays the battery life, remote control frequency channel, brightness, and color temperature. The brightness is adjusted with this upper dial from 1 to 100% in 5% intervals. The color temperature is adjusted with this lower dial. It goes from 3200 to 5600 kelvins in 100 kelvin intervals. I like these nice big metallic dials. Also, notice how the battery life changes in real time as I adjust brightness. At 100% brightness, the remaining battery lasts about 49 minutes. And at 5% brightness, the battery should last much longer. And there it goes, 8.4 hours. Lastly, there's a button to change the remote control frequency channel. Speaking of the remote control, here it is. It can control the power, brightness, and color temperature. It also has these five preset shortcuts to quickly jump to a particular setting. The only wish I have for the Ring Light Pro is an USB-C charging port, so I don't have to look for or remember to bring the DC charger. Both Ring Light Mini and Ring Light Pro have a 96 plus CRI rating for color accuracy. Both lights are soft and even. For small portable light, the Ring Light Mini can get bright, 960 lux at 0.5 meter. The Ring Light Pro, being bigger with more LEDs, can get even brighter, 1700 lux at 0.5 meter. The Ring Light Mini retails for $179.99 US dollars, and the Ring Light Pro is $269.99. These are not cheap lights, but you get what you pay for. There are discounts from time to time in the links I'll put in the description below. I think the Ring Light Mini is a great starting point for better lighting. It's compact yet bright enough. It can be attached to a desk with the included C clamp or stand on a tripod for product videos and photos. It's also small enough to stand behind the monitor for streaming or conference calls. If a brighter light is required or a sturdier stand is needed to mount a small camera heavier than the phone, the Ring Light Pro is the best light around. I even pointed up at the ceiling as a soft and bright ambient light on a couple of my last videos. And it also has the convenience of a built-in battery and a nice carrying case. Oh, a handy remote too. If an even brighter, more flexible setup is needed. LumCube also has this studio panel lighting kit with two panel lights which I'll try out next. So subscribe to the channel and come back to see that video. What ring lights have you used? Do share your experiences, both good and bad, with us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, subscribe and check out this video next. 
I'll see you in that next one. Until then, God bless and remember to cherish each moment. Thanks to Loom Cube for sending these out for me to try and share with you.